So my name is Claudia Small and uh, I'm one half of Small and Small. My husband Bill can't be here today. Uh, and we have uh, been making wine for Naked, oh it's coming up to our eighth vintage this season. The thing I love most about being with Naked Wines is that everyone trusts each other and you guys let us do what we are good at, which is make wine, and we get a lot of uh, flexibility and we get to try out new things and we can take sort of risks that we wouldn't maybe necessarily take and Naked always back us 100% of the way and so it's a pretty freeing way of being in this industry which is, you know, it can be pretty tough. The risks that we can take are uh, trying out new varieties or trying out new styles of wine. Uh, trying out, we make a lot of Sauvignon Blanc because we're from Marlborough and we have three different Sauvignon Blancs and so we can really sort of start pushing the boundaries of what Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc can be like, which is what we've done with our Theodore Reserve wine. Um, and it's a really fun, um, it's incredibly satisfying. The difference that Naked has made to our lives, I can't even begin. We would have a completely different life if we hadn't, um, if Bill hadn't answered um, a press release uh, seven years ago. Uh, so we are able to work together, uh, Bill and I, which we really enjoy. Uh, we have a lot of flexibility. We work hard, but we work odd hours, so often early in the morning, late at night. It's been amazing for our family. We get to um, work with lots of incredible growers right across the district. Uh, our lives just, they'd be a lot sadder and would see less of each other and we really like working for ourselves. <laughs> I first fell in love with the idea of being a viticulturalist winemaker. Mm, I don't know, um, <laughs> I was going to be a lawyer, <sighs> sounded a bit boring. Uh, so my family have had vineyards in Marlborough for 25 years now and uh, I guess that gave me the idea because uh, viticulturalist isn't very high on the career's advice when you, uh, yeah, all girls school. Mm, I don't know. Uh, but I love it. I love the fact that um, we have a lot of uh, time out in the paddock, a lot of time, but also time in the office. I like the seasonality of it. Um, I like that you have periods of time when you're really, really busy and kind of stressed and you've got to organise lots of stuff and then you have times when it's less busy and you can catch up on all the things you didn't do when you were, you know, during vintage. So, yeah, it's been a lucky mistake. <laughs> I'm more passionate about um, winemaking, viticulture, compared to when um, I first got the idea. Uh, I don't, the, it's just every year is different. Every year you never know what's going to happen. You never know. The things you worry about last year are never the things you have to worry about the next year. And I just love the constant change and um, always having to tweak things to perfection. It's, yeah, it's a great career. My favourite varietal for drinking would be, I love Chardonnay. Let us make a Chardonnay. Um, but uh, being from Marlborough, I have to say Sauvignon Blanc because I think it's a variety that it's so new. Marlborough only made its first Sauvignon Blanc in the late, late 70s. We're sort of coming into the second generation of winemakers and viticulturalists. So much we still to try and so many um, opportunities to really push the style. And being in Marlborough now and being given the opportunity to start pushing those boundaries is hugely satisfying and exciting and I can't wait to see what Marlborough's going to look like when I'm 80. Oh, there have been so many favourite angel moments. Um, I think that's the thing that makes it really special because we are in a bit of a bubble and getting the constant feedback from the angels is incredible. When we go on tour, um, people are so excited to see you and it's really nice. <laughs> um, but probably my favourite one was a recent one. Someone, because our label's small and small, we get um, people who are surnamed small, like us, contact us. And we had this guy who'd had our wine at his wedding five years ago, and then he was coming up to his fifth anniversary, so he um, wanted to like get a bottle of 2011 small and small wine and the label, and so Bill organised it all, got it shipped up to the UK, and the UK office organised it, and he gave it to his wife for their fifth wedding anniversary. So it was really lovely.